All right, today I'm going to show you uh, how to do basically a real quick tip on uh, installing a Blender theme in 2.62 or above. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the uh, the long version here. Uh, here is the link to go to the summary if you just want to see boom, boom, boom how to do it. Here I'm going to explain it just a little bit slower. All right, so if you noticed on uh, Blender Nation the other day, March 13th, they talked about the Blender theme energy and uh, how to how to um, or that it was kind of cool and you can install it. And I installed it and it, it was kind of cool. I probably will use it. So you click on the link, you go there, and this works for uh, what I'm going to show you is for the Mac but it will work for Windows as well. You just have to find basically the same uh, folders that I'm going to talk about here. Alright, so anyway you go there and it looks like, yeah, this theme's pretty cool. Um, good contrast, easy on the eyes, dark. I like a darker, blacker uh, theme. And then uh, this guy has done a few versions Alright, so go down and get the latest version, or if you're installing a theme from somewhere else, um, have it. So, to, to download it on a Mac, I right click, save link as, and then I go to my downloads and Energy V4, save. And down here you can see it's an XML file. And here's my downloads folder, here it is XML. And you can actually open an XML in um, your browser. And let's say, let's say I think I use Chrome on this computer. All right, where are you, Chrome? What? It's not letting me open it up on Firefox. It's probably uh, not going to work on Chrome. All right. Anyway, let's go back over here. Open up a new page. File. Open file. Uh, downloads. XML. And look, you can open it up in a browser to just look at uh, all the different things. XML is basically like HTML. It's just a bunch of tags. But anyway, this is what your blender is going to be using. So I just want to show you that little thing. All right, so now to install this in Blender on a Mac, and very similar, it can be done on um, Windows. You just need to find a folder. Um, all right, before we start Blender, um, I'm going to open up a new Finder window. File, new Finder window. Okay, go to your applications and Blender, and I got a couple versions here. This is the latest 2.62. Okay, right click on Blender, show package contents. Once you get to the contents, it basically lets you get into the hidden folders. You go to contacts, contents, Mac OS. 2.62 or whatever version you're using now in the future. Scripts, presets, interface theme, and you see I've already installed it, but these are the ones that ship with Blender. Um, so basically after you download it, you would just drag it over here and drop it in there, and I've already done it. Uh, so just drag it and drop it in there and once it's in there you can close all that mess out and then when you start Blender um, go to file user preferences go to themes and then presets and there is all the ones that ship with Blender as well as the one you just downloaded. And then uh, if you want to save it as a default, 
you just hit save as default or um, it says here D right mouse I've always known it as control U um, or you can just reset it to default theme or you may like one of the other ones black to black uh, which is kind of cool although your line and your separation between your screens down here gets kind of thin um, but if you have one of your your own you can you can save it and then uh, yeah, that one's kind of cool anyway here's the energy one and then you would save as default if you always wanted to use that one and uh, I like this this is cool so there you go and that's how to do it all right and here's the summary um, go and get your theme wherever you want it and download it here you would uh, for this one for example we right click save link as uh, choose where to download it at um, I'm going to download it to my downloads folder I'm not going to save it as lipsticks that's another project I got save it as that yeah it's already got it so once you download it then uh, you open up blender file user preferences themes oh excuse me this is the short version but it's turning out to be the long version so anyway go to uh, your finder do another finder window which there should be a shortcut key for that if you like it you can use it downloads alright uh, here's the XML theme I just downloaded um, blender this turned out to be as long as the, the first version but anyway right click show package contents contents max OS 2.62 scripts presets interface theme drop it in there and then now when you start up blender and you go to file user preferences themes presets it'll be in there and there you go quick tip hope you enjoyed it happy blendering